Welcome back to The Bible Says What? Today I will summarize Revelation chapter 6 where Jesus opened six of the seven seals on the scroll of judgment. Jesus opened the first seal. When he did that, one of the four living creatures thundered and said, Come forth! And a large white horse stepped forward. On the horse was a rider who had a crown and a war bow. And they took off to make war. The rider on the horse loved death and war. Jesus then opened the second seal. The second living creature said, Come forth! And a large fiery red horse stepped forward. On the horse was a rider who had the ability to entice humans to kill each other. This being was given a large sword and much power, and it quickly took off and started killing everything in its path. Jesus then opened the third seal. The third living creature said, Come forth! And a large black horse stepped forward. On this horse was a rider who was holding a pair of scales in his hand. The living creature in front of the throne said, Two pounds of wheat for a day's wages, and six pounds of barley for a day's wages. Do not hurt the oil and the wine. The rider on this horse had the ability to cause severe famine on the earth. It quickly departed and commenced its destruction. Jesus then opened the fourth seal. The fourth living creature said, Come forth! And a large pale horse stepped forward. On this horse was a rider, and his name was Death. Hell, known by some as Hades, was following close behind this rider. This entity was given power to destroy one-fourth of all the people on the earth by war, famine, plague, and wild beasts, and quickly went to work. And once the rider named Death was successful in killing, Hades came in to harvest the souls of the wicked dead. Jesus then opened the fifth seal. When he did that, all the souls of the martyrs started coming out from under the altar in heaven. They were martyred because they told people how they could be saved through Jesus Christ alone. Most people of the earth hated these Christians, and they hated God. So they killed the Christians in every way imaginable. These martyrs called out in a loud voice, How long, Sovereign Lord, holy and true, until you judge the people on the earth and avenge our blood? Jesus gave them each a white robe and told them, Wait just a little while longer. It's not quite time yet. A few more people will be martyred like you were, and then it'll be time. Jesus then opened the sixth seal. When he did that, the greatest earthquake ever in history shredded the earth. The sun turned dark and the moon turned blood red. The stars in the sky fell to the ground and all the heavens were rolled up like a scroll. The earthquake was so severe that every island and mountain disappeared and sank into the face of the earth. All of the powerful people in the world screamed in terror when they hid in their bunkers. These people yelled at the cave walls and said, Fall on us and kill us, please. Hide us from the wrath of the Lamb and Him who sits on the throne. Their wrath has finally come and no one can endure it. The most important verse in this chapter is Revelation 6.10, which states, And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? The thing I think the Lord wants us to understand after reading this chapter is the fact that there is coming a time in the near future that Jesus will open the seals of judgment. Before that time, however, he hopes that all people finally repent for their sin and place their faith in him. He wants you to be in his family before judgment falls. The Lord wants all of us to heed the warnings of this book and take action. Are you ready for eternity? Are you ready to meet your maker? Do you want to escape the wrath of the Lamb? Repent for your sin and turn to Jesus for salvation. He humbled himself and died on a cross to pay for your sin. The Father raised Jesus from the dead and exalted him to the highest place. 
He is the only one who is worthy to open the seals of the scroll of judgment. Ask Jesus for mercy, forgiveness, and salvation. Hey, thanks for watching the Revelation chapter 6 episode. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and share it. Subscribe if you want to keep up with the daily videos too. See you next time.